This year saw two blockbuster films being shrouded in controversy, with fans complaining about one or more casting decisions. These films being Solo, A Star Wars Story, and Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Before I continue, there's something I need to address. This video doesn't apply for all the characters and actors that fans complain about. I'm not talking about characters who fans think are poorly written, or those who are played by actors with issues outside of their respected films. I'm talking about actors who fans simply didn't want to be cast in a role. I'm talking about Alden Ehrenreich as Han Solo and Jude Law as young Dumbledore. As the original actors were unable to return to their roles, both actors were brought on to take on these iconic roles. Infamous lines called on such as, Not my Solo, and Not my Albus Percival Wolfric Brian Dumbledore. <laughs> on a serious note, fans actually did complain about why the filmmakers had cast these actors. Although The Crimes of Grindelwald is yet to be released, the moment Jude Law was announced as the actor for Dumbledore, many fans, including friends of mine, were vocal of their negative opinions on the casting. A similar situation occurred regarding Alden as Han Solo. However, the Solo movie had more going against it with fans mostly unhappy with the previous Star Wars film and planning to boycott Solo. This prevented many people who were against the actor from seeing how Alden brought the character to life. Many fans believe that Anthony and Gruber, who previously played young William Jones, the older one of which was played by Harrison Ford, was perfect for the role. There's no denying that he has similar facial features to Harrison, and that he can do a great impersonation of Han Solo. I've never heard of the Millennium Falcon. It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. I thought one. It seemed as if he should have been the front runner for the role. Instead, Alden Ehrenreich from movies such as Beautiful Creatures and Hail Caesar was cast in the role. Were the fans correct in believing that someone else should have taken the role? This is a question everyone has to answer on their own. In my opinion, Alden did a great job at attempting to play Solo. I believed that he was the character. The only problems I had with the character in the movie were a result of the writing, and not how Alden played him. A video which perfectly supports this is the dirt fake video which uses AI to replace Alden's face with Harrison's. It is a little creepy to look at, but the way Alden moves seems perfect when Harrison's face is on it, proving how he did a great job presenting the mannerisms and attitude of the character. Can the same be applied to Jude Law as a young Dumbledore? The actor from the recent Sherlock Holmes movies has proven his worth as an actor. Asking my friends who are hardcore Harry Potter fans, it was clear that the main problem they had was with the fact that a new actor was taking on the role. One shared how the casting contradicts flashbacks from the previous movies and doesn't sit well with him, while another explained how the film is not a set prequel to the Harry Potter films, instead it is a loose prequel simply set in a time before the events of Harry Potter. This was enough to make her accept Jude in the role. Now, when the film is released and fans see Jude's performance, Will their opinions all change, or will they simply continue to complain? Will it consist of a similar outcome to Alden as Solo, where not every fan believed he did justice to the role, or will this new Dumbledore meet expectations? Will this affect the next film, and lead to a recasting? Are the fans right in questioning the casting of actors? Is there a point where filmmakers should listen to the fans and cast someone that they want? In my opinion, no. Fans can complain about who is cast in roles as much as they want, but it is ultimately up to the casting directors, director, and the rest of the crew to decide who plays a character. They witness the auditions, and they try their hardest to test an actor in seeing if they deserve the role. If a person is wrongly cast and they don't deliver a great performance, the studio can, if they want, work around it either improving the actor's performance or recasting them altogether. Although not a result of fan backlash, actors in the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Dark Knight trilogy have changed between films without affecting the film itself. If it can happen in these movies, then it should be accepted in others. Therefore, until a film is released and an actor can be judged on their actual performance, fans should try not to view the actor in a demeaning manner. If you go into the film expecting a performance to be bad, it will. But if you go in without perfect expectations, you may just find that the casting was done perfectly.